Creatures found living inside a human body. Everyone has heard urban legends about people who have gone swimming in rivers or lakes, only to find out weeks later that they had swallowed an egg and now have a fully grown snake or something living inside them. Of course, these tales are ridiculous, but hey, there is always some truth to these stories. So, to kill the suspense, we bring you some of the creatures that were found living inside a human body. Let's go. 10. A Sea Plant By the summer of 2010, Ron Svedan had shortness of breath for several months, was coughing a lot, and felt a lot less energy than usual. 75 years Svedan was worried that he might have lung cancer. He was taken to a hospital and x-rays revealed a growth in his left lung, which had also collapsed. When further tests were conducted, doctors were shocked that it wasn't actually cancer. Far from a tumor, the growth inside him was actually a small pea plant. Doctors speculate that the pea had been accidentally inhaled and the lung had provided an ideally warm, humid atmosphere in which to sprout. The plant was surgically removed and Ron made a full recovery. 9. The Lungfish Anil Barella is a boy from Madhya Pradesh, India. One day in 2012, when he was 12, he began to have trouble breathing after he had been playing in a river with some friends. So he sought medical attention and a relatively short and simple surgery fixed his breathing problem. The source of his trouble turned out to be a 3.5-inch fish that ended up in his lung. Anil had decided to put the fish in his mouth and inhale, rather than simply swallow the thing. The suction pulled the fish directly into his lung. He was fine after the surgery, and the fish was still alive when the surgeons found it, although it died shortly afterward. 8. Maggots in the Head Aaron Dallas was just a regular tourist on a trip to Belize in the summer of 2007. The vacation went well overall, seemingly passing without incident. We say seemingly because upon returning to the US, Aaron noticed that he had several bumps on his scalp. Doctors initially blamed insect bites or shingles, right up until they noticed the bumps were moving. The cause? Five maggots living in his scalp. If he touched the bumps, he could literally feel them moving around, but up until his doctors identified the maggots, he had thought it was just blood rushing around. More horrific still, he could even hear them inside his head. The maggots were removed, and now we can all rest easier knowing that this problem will probably never happen again. 7. Eel in the Anus In 2010, an unnamed 59-year-old chef went to the hospital in Sichuan, China after experiencing pains in his abdomen, severe anal bleeding, and other unpleasant problems. His puzzled doctors opted to perform exploratory surgery, probably expecting to find something along the lines of a tumor or a damaged organ. Well, they did find that the man's small intestines were damaged by the eel they found inside him. At first, it seemed that the eel had somehow made its way in through a meal he had eaten the day before but the real cause soon came to light. He had been out drinking with friends and passed out, at which point they decided to play the age-old practical joke of inserting a live eel into his anus. The man passed away 10 days later. Another man in China decided to try this for himself after he allegedly saw it happen in porn. He admitted himself to hospital and underwent surgery, where the 20-inch eel was removed after having chewed through the man's colon. The man survived to face animal cruelty charges. 6. A Boy and a Fish A 14-year-old boy in India went to the hospital after experiencing pain and difficulty going to the bathroom. Despite having no history of urological issues, various tests were run and the doctors were eventually able to pinpoint the source of his distress. There was a tiny fish living inside the boy's bladder. They tried a few different ways to get the fish out and eventually had to use a ureteroscope, which is exactly as awful as it sounds, gentlemen. Apparently, the fish accidentally ended up inside him while he tried to take a leak inside a fish tank. 5. A Fir Tree Artyom Sidorkin from Russia 
began experiencing chest pains and coughing up blood in 2009. Of course, these sort of symptoms would be enough to frighten the crap out of anyone, so he visited his doctor to get things checked out and was given an x-ray to see if he had cancer. The test seemed to show that he did, so he was sent off for an operation on his lung. Thankfully, the doctors decided to take a closer look at the growth before slicing up a majority of one of RTM's lungs. As it turned out, the mass detected by the x-ray was not a tumor, but was in fact the first sprouting of a fir tree. It was only two inches tall, but it was touching some of his capillaries, which explained the extreme pain that he had been feeling. The plant was removed and he made a full recovery. 4. Worm in the Eye John Matthews was having some trouble with the vision in his left eye. As it was becoming increasingly blurred, there were two dark spots constantly in sight. He described it as looking through a muddy lens. Naturally concerned he was losing his vision, John visited the doctor. At first, Dr. James Folk couldn't find the problem, but after examining close-ups of John's eye, he realized there was a microscopic worm living there. Not much is known about the worm, but it is ingested one way or another, and then begins to make its way from the stomach through the person's tissue. Moving all the way up to their eye or brain, it then survives by feeding on the person's retina. Despite his vision being blurred, he could see the worm swimming around in his eye. Dr. Folk managed to kill the worm using a laser, and John is now doing exercises to restore his sight, although it is unlikely to ever recover fully. 3. Spider Woman On August 8, 2012, Mrs. Lee checked in to the Changsha Central Hospital of Otolaryngology and head and neck surgery, complaining that her ear was itchy. Instead of laughing her out of the hospital, Dr. Lu Xing took a look inside the woman's ear and made what is likely to be the most exciting discovery of his career as an ear doctor. Mrs. Lee had a spider in her ear canal. And not one of those minuscule, nondescript spiders. This little tyke had four eyes, was covered in hair, and had barbs that the doctors feared would dig into the woman's ear if disturbed. They estimated that the spider had crawled into the ear for shelter as she slept five days earlier. To get it out, they filled her ear with saline solution, which successfully drove the spider away. 2. Brain Worm Rosemary Alvarez was diagnosed with a brain tumor after an MRI scan. However, the doctors soon realized that they had made an error in diagnosing, but what they found was shocking. The good news was that Rosemary was not suffering from a tumor. The not-so-good news was that she had a live tapeworm in her brain. Although horrifying, this was actually better than having a tumor. The tapeworm was easier to remove and meant she wouldn't have to worry about cancer. 1. Squid Sperm in 2012, a woman in South Korea was eating squid, specifically Totorodes pacificus. As she was eating the partially boiled creature, she felt a stinging sensation and spat it out, but she continued to feel what she described as a foreign body sensation in her gums, cheek, and tongue. It turns out that while she was eating, the sperm sac of the squid burst and she was inseminated. When she was examined by doctors, they removed 12 small, white, spindle-shaped, bug-like organisms. And cases like these are not nearly as rare as they should be. People should probably stop eating squids.